and here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits atop the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you got to see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey back, and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. Ronda Rousey graces the proving ground this time. She wants to leave with the belt. Here is Poland's best, Joanna Yeo and Jay Czech. She really is the total package, Daniel Cormier, as a fighter inside the octagon and as an intimidator outside of it. I mean, that, that stare now cut a man like me right down. Oh, it's unbelievable, John. I mean, just the, the mind game that Joanna can play on her opponents is unreal. Every time I think about, I think about how she tortured Carla Esparza leading into her first UFC championship fight. It seemed as though Esparza just wanted to be done with it by the time the whole thing was over. But you can only talk so much. Ultimately, you have to back it up, and Joanna Young Jacek sure can back it up. Jacek steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Joanna Yeojaja! Referee Herb right, Dean right. will handle the action right. in the octagon. All right, so we are underway with this highly anticipated stand-up tournament clash. So these ladies got to play by the rules here tonight. No grappling whatsoever. Jiu-Jitsu fighters need not apply. You also can't do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last woman standing will be. A nice hook by Joanna Yeonjecha. She's got a quick jab. There it is. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Let's go. Oh, 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 cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Nice crack there. Frantic pace early on to this one. Beautiful body kick land. there by Guillaume Jaichek. Trying to kick the leg out. 
Three minutes to go. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Done, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Push kick there to the body. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Jacek. Oh, big head kick there! Oh, huge left! Nice kick landed there by Ioana Jacek. <laughs> Under a minute now to go. Upper cut lands. Oh my goodness! Another head kick lands. Not every day you see multiple head kicks land and a fighter somehow stay in the fight. I can't believe she is just standing here still. You cannot take shit to the dome. When you take shit to the dome, you are generally sleeping. Think, Valentina Shevchenko versus Jessica I. You got to get your hand up. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Second round, straight ahead. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes there. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. Big shot to the body. Real quick leg kick. Nice shot there by the camera. Huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. You know, Jack Jack's cut above the eye. Not there. Oh my goodness, you heard her again. Hands high, hands high. Rousey gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and started to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Ah, uh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Under two minutes now to go. And she misses with the left punch there. Good straight hand there by Rousey. All right, so now we see some bruising on that calf on the lead leg. DC. Well, she talked about it in the fighter meet. She goes, we are going to beat her lead leg up. She's found a lot of success doing that to this point. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Oh, 
Nice jab by Ronda Rousey. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot. Rousey's going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she has realized... Oh, The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Joanna Yejejan. All right, so congratulations to Ioana Jacek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. What can this woman not do inside an octagon? She is a master of making in-fight adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses to her advantage. Certainly doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA on this UFC roster, top to bottom, than Ioana Jacek.